Hi everyone! In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make this simple crochet top. I'll be making the top in size extra small, but you can customize it to your size by following the measurement guide. For the main top, I use a double pull of 8 ply fine cotton and a 2.5 mm hook. If you are not familiar with the double pull, just simply put these two strands of yarn together and treat them as one strand for you to have a total of 16 ply. But since 16 ply is too thin, I will use a DK weight yarn to show you the pattern so that you can see the stitches clearly. By the way, the stitches that I will use in this pattern is the moss stitch with increasing in every row. Now let us begin our project. For row 1, first make a slip knot, then chain 2. Single crochet into the first chain, chain 1, then single crochet again into the same chain. Chain 1 and turn your work. For row 2, single crochet into the first stitch, chain 1, then single crochet into the chain space here. Chain 1. Then single crochet into the last stitch. Chain 1 and turn your work. For row 3, again, single crochet into the first stitch, chain 1, single crochet into the chain space, chain 1, skip the single crochet stitch, then single crochet into the chain space, Chain 1 and single crochet into the last stitch. Chain 1 and turn your work. For row 4, again, single crochet into the first stitch. Chain 1. Single crochet into the chain space. Chain 1. Skip single crochet stitch. Then single crochet into the chain space. Chain 1. Skip again the single crochet stitch. Then single crochet into the chain space. Chain 1 and single crochet into the last stitch. Chain 1 and turn your work. The pattern of moss stitch is very simple. Just single crochet into the first stitch, chain 1, then single crochet into the chain space, chain 1, skip the single crochet stitch. Single crochet in chain 1, again into the chain space, skip the next stitch. Single crochet in chain 1 again into the chain space, skip the next stitch. 
single crochet and chain one into the chain space then single crochet into the last stitch i will show you the pattern one more time for row five single crochet into the first stitch chain one single crochet into the chain space chain one skip the next stitch single crochet into the chain space chain one skip the next stitch single crochet into the chain space chain one skip the next stitch single crochet into the chain space chain one then single crochet into the last stitch chain one and turn your work then repeat the process until the width of the triangle is equal to your measurement a here is my first triangle and the width of this triangle measures 6 inches and the height measures 3 inches. Now make two triangles but don't cut the yarn of the second triangle. Now let us connect these two triangles together. Position it like this. The yarn tail should be here next to the other triangle. To connect, undo the chain 1 of the first triangle. To join, slip stitch into the first stitch of the other triangle. Then chain 1 to secure. Now for the next part, we will just continue the same pattern as we did in our triangles. But since there is a joining, I will show you where you should crochet once you reach the joining part. So again, single crochet into the first stitch, chain 1, single crochet into the chain space, Chain 1, single crochet again into the chain space, chain 1, single crochet into the chain space, then chain 1, single crochet into the chain space, chain 1, then repeat the pattern until you reach the joining stitch. I ended with chain 1. Now you will see that there is a single crochet, slip stitch, and another single crochet stitch here. But you should make a single crochet stitch into the slip stitch. Now single crochet into the slip stitch. Chain 1. Skip the single crochet stitch, then single crochet into the chain space. Chain 1, single crochet into the chain space. Chain 1, 
single crochet again into the chain space, then repeat the pattern across. Now single crochet into the last stitch, chain 1 and turn your work. Continue the same process of increasing until you reach the under bust. I'm done and the length of this is 6.5 inches. Now for the bottom part, we will stop the increasing and the pattern will be for row 1, single crochet into the first stitch, single crochet into the chain space, chain 1, skip the single crochet stitch, then single crochet into the chain space, chain 1, skip the next stitch, then single crochet into the chain space, chain 1, then repeat the pattern across. When you reach the last chain space, single crochet into the chain space, then single crochet into the last stitch. Chain 1 and turn your work. For row 2, Single crochet into the first stitch, chain 1, skip the next stitch, single crochet into the chain space, chain 1, skip the next stitch, single crochet into the chain space, chain 1, then repeat the pattern across. When you reach the last two stitches, skip one stitch, then single crochet into the last stitch. Chain 1 and turn your work. Repeat the pattern of row 1 and row 2 until you reach your desired length. I'm done and the length of my top measures 10 inches. For the side part, let us measure first the width of the top. Stretch your top when measuring to achieve the perfect fit. So the width of my top measures 21.5 inches. Now for the side, please refer to the measurement E, which is the width of the bottom part minus your under bust divided by 2. Mine is equal to 1.5 inches. 
Start your side with a chain 2. Then work one double crochet into each row until you reach the corner. Chain 2, turn your work, double crochet into each stitch, then repeat again the pattern until you reach the measurement needed for the side. Let's check the width. It is almost 1.5 inches. Just a one line difference, okay na ako doon, di ko na kailangan mag-add ng isa pang row. Now, cut the yarn. For the other side, since I have here 3 rows, I will make 4 rows for the other side for the purpose of overlapping. And also, since I started the first side from the bottom to top, on this side, I will start here from the top to bottom. Okay, I'm done. Now let's make the edging. For the edging, make single crochet into the edge until you reach the very first stitch here. Make 2 single crochet into the row with double crochet stitches. And one single crochet into the row with moss stitch. For the strap, I will chain 73 or 13.5 inches long. Then, I will connect it right here in the corner. Make sure that the length of your strap is enough for your size. Now, chain 73 or the number of chains needed for your strap. When you're done, connect the strap in the corner. Before you connect the strap, make sure it is not twisted.
Now, insert your hook into the corner stitch. Mine is in the ninth stitch. Pull the yarn into the stitch. And into the loop, or in short, we did a slip stitch. Then slip stitch into the next stitch. Then work single crochet into the chain. And into every chain until you reach the last chain. Now continue the edging by making single crochet stitch into the edge until you reach the other side of the top. Now, before we reach the very first stitch here, chain again 73 or the number of chains needed for your strap. Then add one chain for turning chain. Work your single crochet into the second chain from your hook. And single crochet into every chain until you reach the last chain. Now continue again the edging, start from this very first stitch, until you reach the corner. When you reach the corner, grab the strap
Then we will slip stitch into the first single crochet stitch of the strap. Then continue the edging, work 2 single crochet stitch into each row. Then 2 single crochet into the corner. And 1 single crochet into each stitch. Two single crochet again into the corner. Then work two single crochet stitch into the row with double crochet stitch and one single crochet into the row with moss stitch across. Two single crochet into the corner and one single crochet into each stitch until you reach the end. Now slip stitch into the first stitch Chain 1 and cut your yarn For the buttons, we will attach the buttons on the wider side I will attach it on the 4th row using a sewing thread and a needle. The reason why I don't have a button hole is because the space between the double crochet stitches is enough already as a button holes. So I'm done and this is how it will look like. For the lace, I use single pull of 8 ply yarn and a 2mm hook. But since 8 ply is too thin, I will use a DK weight yarn to show you the pattern so that you can see the stitches clearly. To begin, make a slip knot, then chain 4. Slip stitch into the first stitch to create a ring. I wish that you can see it clearly, but there is a hole right here.
Now chain 1. Then single crochet into the ring. Chain 2. Double crochet into the ring. Chain 2. Single crochet into the ring. And this will be our first petal. Now for the second petal, chain 2. Double crochet into the ring. Chain 2. And single crochet into the ring. Now we have two petals. Now let us make three more petals by repeating the pattern. I ended my last petals with two chains. Now to join this round, slip stitch into the first single crochet stitch. Chain 8. Then slip stitch into the 4th chain from your hook to create a ring. This is almost the same with the previous process. Now chain 1, single crochet into the ring, chain 2, double crochet into the ring, chain 2, Single crochet into the ring, chain 2, double crochet into the ring, chain 2, single crochet into the ring. Now we have 2 petals. For the third petals, the chains here are counted as a double crochet stitch. Now for the third petals, chain 2, then slip stitch into the second chain, This is the first and this is the second chain. Slip stitch into the second chain. Chain 2. Single crochet into the ring. 
And now we have 3 petals. Make another one, chain 2, double crochet into the ring. Chain 2, single crochet into the ring. Chain 2, double crochet into the ring. Chain 2, then join the round with a slip stitch. It is super easy but let me show you the pattern one more time. Again, chain 8. To create a ring, slip stitch into the 4th chain from your hook. Chain 1. Single crochet into the ring. Chain 2. Double crochet into the ring. Chain 2. Single crochet into the ring. Chain 2. Double crochet into the ring. Chain 2. Single crochet into the ring. Now we have two petals. For third petal, chain two. Then slip stitch into the second chain. Again, this is the first and this is the second chain. Slip stitch into the second chain. Chain two. Single crochet into the ring. Chain 2, double crochet into the ring, chain 2, single crochet into the ring, chain 2, double crochet into the ring, chain 2, then join the round with a slip stitch. Now continue the pattern until the length of your flower lace is enough for your top. We will place it here on the edge like this. Make sure you have a long yarn tail to sew the flower lace onto the top. Then make another one for the bust part of the top. Just trace your under bust like this. Now let us attach the flower lace. By the way, I use pin so that the lace will not move while I'm sewing. This is how I attach it. Weave in the tail into the stitch. into the back of the petals
back into the stitch back again into the petal When you turn your top, the back should be as clean as this. Again, weaving the tail into the stitch. into the back of the petal back into the stitch Back again into the petal. Repeat the process across. I did the same process in the underbass and this is how it will look like. And now we're done! What a wonderful world